Okay. What's up, Madlang people? It's Alisa here, and welcome to my channel. As you can see, nandito ako ngayon sa karagatan. Naghihintay ako ng sunset. Okay. So for today's video, I'm gonna be giving you some helpful tips and tricks that you can use for children portraits. And while I wait for sunset, I'm gonna let my son enjoy today first. <laughs> Photographing children can be unpredictable. You don't know what they're gonna do. You don't know if they're gonna follow your instructions to them. They can have a very good mood for now and then it can change just like that. And since I've been doing children portraits for the past four years, I have learned some tricks that I do to actually make them pose for me. So I'm gonna tell you all of that a bit later and let me just enjoy the sun for now. So now it's gonna be sunset in an hour so this is the perfect time to take photographs so let's start if you are taking photographs of kids with clouds behind them you may want your picture to be underexposed it's easier to pull out shadows and overexposed images are kind of unfixable so if your clouds are very overexposed you can't get the details back anymore the next would be if you are posing a child well you can't really expect them to do a pose for you like an adult would you just have to talk to them as if you're having a conversation and take photographs and hopefully you get something really cool so i'm using a sony 73 and sony 73 is a really good <laughs> eye out of focus yeah that's kind of spiky <laughs> can i have a smile from my baby I don't do that because you're gonna hurt your face. What is that for? Is that like a walking stick? Don't put it in your mouth, please. No, it's, a, it's a high stick. Ah, okay. Can you put it beside you because I can't see your face with that in front of you. Wow. Is that your high stick? Oh. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Now I'm gonna use the trick I told you to underexpose an image since the background is the clouds. Plus, I have the CPL filter which is gonna help me with that. As I've mentioned, taking photographs of kids can be unpredictable, so when I asked him if I can take photographs of him, he was happy about it. But now, he's asking me to go home. <laughs> Do you want to go home now? We are not finished. And here comes the next trick. I'll buy you a chocolate later. If, if you can stay a little bit more. The surprise egg, you want? I want one more photo. <laughs> you see, he wants one more photo bribery always works the next tip would be also about posing as i've mentioned before you can't just let them pose for you i don't think they're gonna actually do that i think that depends on age as well but my son he is five years old and yes he is my child and i've been taking photographs of him quite a lot and he knows i'm a photographer but he can still be very stubborn when it comes to photo shoots so to take photographs of kids, you will want them to have a lot of movements. At least that, that's what I prefer because I want to see kids in their most natural way, you know, playing around, moving a lot. So if you instruct the children to either spin, twirl, jump, anything like that, you can take really, really great photos. Have a spin with your flowers, that all right? Yeah. One, two, three, go. Woo! <laughs> Can you jump or spin to me? Woo! Oh my goodness! The 
next tip would be about composition and angle. Now, the, the angle that I really like the most is going a bit lower on the ground, so you have the foreground blur as it plays really nicely on depth of field. So you'll get a blur foreground, a focus subject, and a blur background, and that's really satisfying to look at. Other composition tip would be if your subject is looking that way, then you will want to have more space on that side because it's giving you this sense of what are they looking at and the viewer will want to see that. Also try not to cut the joint parts and because I'm shooting a kid, sometimes composition can be very challenging as they move about everywhere. So you'll just have to make sure to look out for those things. Look, what is that baby? Oh, is it empty? Then start to stick, 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 spin it. <laughs> wow! Oh my God! You can do a a cartwheel as well or a turn. <laughs> Now I have to actually instruct him and show him what I want him to do. So can you do this? Like sonic boom, like this. One, two, three. Ha! Like that. Jump over this plant. Three, two, one, go. The next and last tip I'm gonna be giving to you guys is using props. Now props gives interest on your image. It can be used for any age actually. So if you are taking photographs of someone that is not a model and the main problem I'm encountering on that is that they don't know where to put their hands. So they kind of like stand there awkwardly and their hands are like, I don't know, somewhere just hanging there beside them. So if you give them props, then they have something to do with their hands. So you can either have a flower or a leaf that you can pick up wherever your location you are or you can also buy these things i actually bought one with me this is a glass and i put some um, lights on it so i'm gonna have a kind of like um i don't know, like fantasy kind of dreamy like since this the sun is going down very soon and it's getting a little dark so this will work a lot so i'm just gonna have to like turn this on put it in and let it light up his face and I'm just gonna fix this in post process so let's start so I'm just gonna put them like this put it here well one by one at least Ooh. and there we go kind of like see light up the face and it's pretty cool okay let's go babe can you just hold this for mama you have a light next to you that is super cool <laughs> Oh, the, the. <laughs> make sure you don't. <laughs> Jesus. I actually forgot to mention what lens I'm using. I'm using the Samyang 85mm f1.4. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys find that one enjoying and useful and take that knowledge for your next photo shoot. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on my social media accounts. Link on the description box. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>